guy he is selling halal cat food so imagine somebody making money by fooling people by saying to them there is something have to do with cats it is kosher food and if your cat she don't eat kosher food brother your cat will go to hell do you want your cat to go to hell do you let us be honest here so this is Lili Dawa promoting in the beginning even though this is not my topic today but this is how we started with listen and love Alif. They make 100% halal raw cat food. There are countless health benefits to this new raw diet. Check them out on Instagram at alif.uk. They do monthly subscription boxes and you can get 10% discount on their two week trial box with my code Ali10. Check them out now and let your cat enjoy some nice food. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Welcome once again to my channel. <coughs> Majuj and Majuj. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about them in the Quran and they are mentioned specifically in a hadith, brothers and sisters. Mm. Now, one thing that a lot of people make a mistake, which I've seen, you know, people of knowledge, is that they try to comprehend and understand how is, who is Yajuj and Majuj? Where are they? How could they stay in a cave for so long and dig, dig, dig? And just when they're about to come out, and obviously there's issues, some say there's issues with that narration, etc. Some parts of it, you know, are not authentic, whatever it may be. I'm not trying to get into that, okay? You know, and then Dhulqarnayn, um, and you know, there's so many speculations, etc. And a lot of people come and they're like, some people even get into doubt with this matter. Some individuals even leave Islam. And I'm like, what's the issue here? Let me tell you guys the crux of the matter because they're... He just mentioned the issue. He said, why we need to comprehend? If you notice here that the Muslims, they're not only hypocrite, following Satan, but they don't apply the same standard they are asking for when it's come to Islam or other belief. So the Muslim, he want to comprehend how the Trinity work. The Muslim want to comprehend how Jesus can be God. The Muslim want to comprehend anything as long as it's not Islamic. The second it is Islamic, he should not comprehend because the second he tries to comprehend, he will leave the cult of Muhammad. So why people need to comprehend? What is exactly the problem? Why, why you people need to do that? Why you do that? You should not do that. To comprehend is a sin. And he mentioned that people leave Islam really when they try to comprehend. If we listen more, you will see how stupid things there can get. There are a lot get. of people and a lot of individuals who have tried to make people understand this and even push the narrative of these certain ex-Muslims, you know, that, you know, people uh, are leaving Islam because of this apparently, yeah? Uh, which I just heard one individual. Most of those reasons were well, because, you know, he could yeah, have yeah. intimacy with a lot of girls. Uh, There's the, the, the guy who left Islam because he wanted to do intimacy with a lot of girls. And he is the same guy who made videos about a Muslim, he can have four wives and he can have intimacy with four four women at the same time. In the same time, he can lie to his wife. Why anyone want to leave Islam because he want to have intimacy with more girls? You can have four women in the web bedroom. But Tato, you see, I mean, do you see how trashy that he is? You know, the second a person he leave Islam, they, fr they try to frame him, accuse him of things like he want to have intimacy. Well, this is a religion of sex. This is a religion, there's nothing in it except sex. Something along those lines, okay, I don't think it was this issue at all, yeah, it was more of his desires. The point is this, that we fall for this, and then what we try to do is, in return, is like, I know, let's try to bring it down to a logical level and try to explain it in a logical way. Now, I've seen many people do these videos, okay, many people, one of those was... This is the same idiot who keep talking about logic. He says it's not logical, for God to be three in one. Do you see Muslims how hypocrite you are? Should we be logical or we should not be logical? Do we have any Muslim here would like to come and support us? Why when it's come to Quran, we should not be logical. When it's come to Christianity, we must be logical. And I'm talking about you Muslims. For us, we can be logical, no problem. But it doesn't matter where we are. But you, why you Muslims are being hypocrite? When you try to debunk Christianity, you try to use your own logic, which is a false logic. But Muslims themselves, they cannot be logical. 
in their own cult. Any Muhammadan would like to join us? Any Muhammadan? No, we know this guy, he will never dare to, to join me. Lili Dawa. Right? Any Muhammadan dare to come to the mic? Why the Muslims avoiding logic when it's come to Gog and Magog? Is that because the story is stupid? Is it because it's so stupid to the point to involve logic with it? Any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan? There is a person in the chat, his name is Proud Muslim. I don't know what Proud about, why he's proud. Uh, Mr. Muhammadan, how are you doing? Go ahead. I don't hear you. I don't I'm know. not doing very good. I came onto the group, I was waiting for you for four hours. All right. And then they accused me of being uh, Muhammadan. So now I'm Muslim. So you are not Muhammadan? I don't know. Are you, are you a Muslim or what? I don't know. No, I'm not. Okay. I was falsely accused like Adam. All right, because so you, 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 call your, you call yourself Muhammad, and so what is what is your religion? No, I never changed. They changed my name, yeah. Ah, ah okay. The admin changed your name? Why, why, guys, why you change his name? Who is the admin who changed his name? Why you do that? Okay. So, my friend... What, I'm not Adam. <laughs> okay, so what is your religion? I'm Christian. All right, how I can help you? Uh, no, I just came to prove myself that I'm not a Muhammadan. All right, okay, guys, uh, admin, please don't change the name of anyone, even if somebody called himself anything. That's not a fair business. I don't like that. Yes, and just explain them the name is warrior. Yeah. So no, 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 it doesn't matter, you know, be... unless somebody is in filthy language, like, you know, the F4, etc., in his name then we kick him out we do not need to change his name uh, but there is no need to change the name of anyone otherwise we are going to change the rules of admins be careful all right thank you christian warrior you can you can log off do we have any muhammadan here do we have any muhammadan who here agree or disagree with lily the wawa he said why we have to be logical why you need to comprehend? Where is Gog and Magog? Gog and Magog. Those creatures are behind the gate. And all the Muslims are in the stand and period of wait. Any Muhammadan here? So we continue the video then? Okay. Let us continue the video. This guy, he, he can explain it to you, I mean. And he is the guy who can debunk Christianity in three uh, in 30, 60 seconds, remember? He said, God can't be inside his creation, and then he debunked Islam in, in less than 10 seconds. After that, he said, Allah enters the creation. Okay, many people, one of those was uh, Dr. Yasser Qadi. You know, the thing is now, it's Ramadan. I'm not here to talk about anybody. Ah, uh, in Ramadan, Muslim don't attack about people, you know. We don't. He just mentioned his name, you know. But uh, it's Ramadan. It's Ramadan, brother. Like, it looks like Muslims in Ramadan, they are decent people. When Ramadan is over, they are not. I mean, do you see how silly and stupid, how hypocrite they are when they try to show off that they are, you know, following a religion and practice? What do you mean in Ramadan? It's Ramadan. So what is Ramadan like? It's different month. So, like after Ramadan, you are going to make a scandal and, and gossip about people? Ah, okay. Uh, etc. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't want to make anything to ruin my fast, my Ramadan, etc. All I'm just... Oh, if he, you know, his prophet used to suck the tongue of Aisha in Ramadan. He killed people, he steal, he rape, and he did not lose his fasting because he wasn't fasting. 
And I find it very funny when a Muslim, he says he fasts in Ramadan. In fact, they eat like a mule. I never saw a Muslim fasting in Ramadan. They eat more, they gain weight. Saying is obviously there's a lot of things I don't agree with Dr. Yasser Qadi, uh, and there's things I agree with also. So the thing is here, it's just I don't want to get into the details of the nitty-gritty. The point I'm trying to make is he also done a video on this matter. The point I'm trying to say and what I don't understand is this: why do we have to understand everything in the context where why does it always have to be logical? Hey Muslims. Isn't it this is the guy, he says, Trinity is not logical? Isn't it you Muslim, you have a big mouth, speak, speak about logic? Do we have any Ustad from Indonesia? I am thinking to make an Indonesian channel and use subtitle in Indonesian language only. Do we have any Muhammadan? Turkish, speak Turkish is very easy. Just say Aman Rabbi Aman. Turkish who claim to be believers are the last one to call themselves believers. This is the land of hypocrisy where scams, prostitution, nightclubs, everything wrong. But yet they claim to be believers. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Who is a Muhammadan can tell us why we should avoid logic when we speak about Muhammad and his book? One of the things I notice in the chat, you know, people chatting is that look at the drama. People who they are coming to the chat, listen carefully. We are coming here for a topic. It is Islam. Don't take anything personal. Even if somebody make fun of you, just laugh. Why you are easy to be offended and why many of you act like children, teenage? Why you are cloning me? I clone you because I like to clone you. Shame on you. You should not clone me, okay? It's haram. Um, well, Allah, he clone, uh, Shaitan, he clone the angels of Reed. Uh, Allah he clone Isa. Uh, everybody clone everybody these days, don't you know? But this is identity theft. I will report you to the police of Discord. Take it easy. It's just a silly, stupid chat. Do we have any Muhammadan here? <clears throat> any Muhammadan here? May they, may they. Who there? Anyone? Okay, any half one? Hmm? Surah Al-Fatiha In the name of Allah I mean, have, have you ever heard of a stupid religion? The God of it, he say in the name of Allah Obviously, he have another God Al-Fatihat was the first thing I learned about Islam and the first question I asked myself how stupid is this guy who made this verse? In the beginning I thought it is just a prayer because the Muslim they pray it but then I noticed the one is saying it is Allah and he is not saying pray like this, no it just says in the name of Allah Any Muhammadan if you don't like the topic of Gog and Magog, we can change it. We can talk about Magog and Gog instead of Gog and Magog. I thought I th I hope this will make you happy. Honestly, if you are scared from Gog and Magog topic, forget about it. No Gog and Magog. We speak about Magog and Gog. Yeah, yeah. The Muslim he is posting for us more. Those who believe in revelation send down to you, Muhammad. Uh, the funny is, the Muslim they say who, those who reveal, uh, believe in revelation, but Muhammad himself don't believe in the revelation. If you go to the stupid Quran, you will see Muhammad 
God saying to Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what sent we sent to you, go and ask Christian Prince. <laughs> Literally. Allah he sent him down revelation and yet Muhammad don't believe. When Allah he sent him Al-Fatiha, in fact, Muhammad was doing shit according, excuse my language, but that's what he was doing. He was doing shit and then he heard a sound and supposedly it was an angel and he said to him, Oh Muhammad. And Muhammad he flee like, like a maniac. But if you go here in chapter 10 verse number 94 it says, so if you Muhammad is AW wide wave are in doubt concerning that which we have revealed to you. Oh boy. I love they are adding. It says, go and ask the people of the Christians and the Jews. <laughs> and by the way, look what they add here. Look what they add. Concerning which were revealed to you, i.e., your name written in the Torah. What a big fat liars. Where it says that? You change the translation. Translation. Look what it says. You cannot and you should not ever take a Muslim translation for the Quran ever for granted. They lie. What happened? Where is your name? It's about what and why Muhammad would have a doubt about it is it this is a big sin that the prophet of Allah himself he don't believe that he is a prophet of Allah anyone Well, Mr. Muslim Boot, if you will keep posting verses, we will block you. I mean, once, twice. You want to join us? Join us. Boot, and then you can boot as much as you want. Ixion. You want to you wanna read for us Quran? Go ahead. Seriously, I will allow you to read those verses for us. Are you afraid if you read them, we will laugh? We don't want to start with the Christians, Christo, please. We want Muslims. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, but we want Muslims for now, if you don't mind. I just want to say that uh, the translation... I don't hear... I don't hear you, what? I'm saying that translation... Is not translation. The opinion of scholar, of scholar in English. Of the verse. The translation is not translation, it's an opinion? Yeah, opinion of a scholar. Just type it. Oh, okay. No, well, that will not that will not fix it. Still, you cannot add to a book of God any opinion. Otherwise, this is a corruption. Yeah, it, but the Muslim do that. In, no, no. First of all, this first of all, they don't agree about what they what they what you just said. Secondly, nowhere it says this is about his name. Where it says that, like there is a hint. It only it says, yeah. If you read the Christian Bible, it is by a whole team, a whole team of uh, one a word after word they translated. The Muslim ask someone random, okay, like Sahih International, Hassan Ali, or uh, uh, or any other translator, to someone uh, like explaining the English the way he thinks is a thing. I know, I know, but this, that, my friend, this is not to change anything. Doesn't matter. Still, you know, we are confirming that all translation is false, because simply, even Muslim don't agree with the translation of the translators. This is why, if you say to a Muslim, "What translation you accept?" You said, "I don't accept any translation." No, they don't, because all translation will get Muhammad busted. They will make they will make poopoo no matter what. However, uh, sorry. Uh, let's read it in Arabic. He said, "I don't, uh, I don't know how to read Arabic." <laughs> yeah, this is silly. However, when a when a when a Muslim he say this is about Muhammad, his name in the Torah, where he got this from? The, the scar, they say the scars. They say that where, where they got this is about Muhammad, his name in the Torah. Nowhere. It says, 
If you have a doubt about what we revealed to you, to you, like is the verse before it says that like uh, uh, your name is written in their book? No. What about the verse before it? No. What about the verse before it? No. What about the verse before it? No. So how how that is about Muhammad? Muhammad obviously proving that he have a problem, he have mental issue. As an example, Muhammad he tried to commit suicide right uh, many time and there is no reason for anyone to commit suicide unless he is mentally ill or suffering from a very very bad depression which is kind of you know mental illness anyway it's like struggling you know you you have a I'm not trying to insult by saying mental illness it can happen to anyone any human being but obviously there is a uh, there is no balance in the chemical of the brain and then you ask yourself, well, this is a prophet of God, chosen by Allah, yet he himself don't believe that he is a prophet of God. And as you see in the hadith, I'm, I'm looking for it. Uh, he keeps saying, uh, uh, the angel, each time he goes to commit suicide, the angel tell him, uh, prophet, you are truly indeed a prophet of Allah. And then Muhammad, he called down and he don't commit suicide. Right? So obviously Muhammad, he have a doubt, and this is not about the Bible or about the Torah. He have a doubt about himself. I'm trying to find the hadith. Where is the hadith? Huh? Uh, this website obviously is not good. Let me see a different website. I don't know what's happened. No, no, go, go, go to Sunnah. Go to Harry Go to Deep Bas. Your voice is cutting. I, I don't care for numbers. I, I prefer to find them. It's uh, it's faster and easier usually. But uh, let us see here. Uh, you know. Let me see this website. Amra Amrayan, something like that. All right, here. I think this one would be better. Your voice is cutting badly, by the way. I can't understand the word. Uh, look like this one. Yeah. Let us add the word you read there. Okay, the brother CB I changed the mark. Uh, I'm saying to you, uh, like the prophet, when he received the revelation, he rolled yeah. like a camel on. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I think he was having a lot of He was, but he had a mental problem. What's wrong with those websites? Okay, hold on. Give, give me a second. I, I, I hate to look by number, sorry, it's okay. I will drop it for you to get cut further. No, still, I, I prefer to do it in the way I do it always. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, I will drop so you get cut further. All right. And uh, you ha I think you have a bad internet because hardly I can understand what you are saying. Awesome. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, yeah. CP, what the... I want to remember the verse saying. Let us see here. Let us hope. All right, here we go. So this is the hadith we are looking for. You will see here it says that Muhammad when Waraq ibn Nawfal, he passed away, he climbed to the mountains and he tried to commit suicide many times. And here you ask yourself, why the Quran still stopped coming when Waraq, which I believe he is the real father of Muhammad, when he died, you know, he, when he passed away. Waraq, according to the Muslim hadith here, he was a person who converted to Christianity 
And obviously, he did not convert to Christianity, he converted to a Christian uh, uh, heretic uh, sect. And he was writing in Arabic, read carefully. He used to write in Arabic, to Arabic, the writing of the Gospel, as Allah wished him to write. You see it? That is the Quran. And this is why when Muhammad, when this man, he died, here you see that when, when the Waraka, he passed away, uh, he becomes so sad and he tried to commit suicide many times. Why he becomes so sad? First, no more revelation. Read with me. But after a few days, Waraka died and the divine inspiration was also posed for a while and the prophet becomes so sad as we have heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountain and let me post the link for you all of you so you can read it and, and laugh at this at this madness religion brother the real problem for this was him trying to suicide why he was going to a cave what a man going to a cave for a whole month you know months and after he go to cave why a this is not this is not an issue no this is not an issue uh, bec bec yeah monks they stay in a cave for uh, for all li their life so what this is not a problem no no no, no. He, he was living in a home I know I know I know I know but we can say he find a place of meditation alone in that area which he cannot find in his house we, we don't want to be the same as the Muslims, you know, we make things up to just to put Muhammad down, no. Uh, going to the cave is not a problem, you know. You might like to go and you might like to go and sit in the wood alone to stay away from the whole world, you know. This is not a reason. But it's obvious that Muhammad, he is mentally ill for many reasons. And this is, uh, this is in front of us is one of them. A person trying to kill himself just because the Quran is not coming, so what? <laughs> Isn't it your God? You know, he's, uh, don't you believe in your God? Let us say Allah stopped giving him the Quran at all. Why he want to kill himself? What is exactly the problem? So all the description for us in the Hadith describe that he have a mental issue. He have epilepsy, obviously. Uh, and uh, uh, his, his brain is not functioning right. Plus he's a bit of fire. And this is additional proof that he is suffering from mental illness. Bedophile by itself is a mental illness. Because a man, normally, a normal man with normal brain, will not uh, have any, uh, let us say, sexual fantasy by hurting a child. Only mentally ill people, they can or they prefer to have a sexual relationship with the children. A normal person will not do that. Do we have any Muslim here? Do we have any Muhammadan? No, no. Uh, uh, take a break, my friend. Christians, guys, don't ask, don't join me for no. I keep saying who is a Muslim. I see only Christian putting their hand up. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? No, 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 it's not about to see you tomorrow. We want Muslims. We don't want to be what Muslims do to Christian bashing Muhammad. We want people to hear what Muslims believe. Give them the right and the chance to defend. Maybe you are wrong. Maybe you are wrong. Always I like to be fair in my discussion about anything. So when I speak about Muhammad, like now you say to me, why he go to the cave? He must be mentally ill. What I said, I refuse that idea because going to the cave is not necessarily about mental illness. Uh, people like to be alone. And if somebody trying to meditate to God, obviously being with many people, it's, it's not easy to do it. So why not? This is not about being mentally ill. No, that's not true. Always we have to be a focus 
and be realistic, uh, you know. Well, no, I believe he, or, or, you see, Christo, you can say whatever you want. You can say he worship God, not worship God. That's not our business. Our business is what he claimed. We did not sit in his pocket. We did not live with him. This guy, he claimed he worshiped God. And obviously, he was a pagan before Islam. So, yes, he worshiped many gods. Uh, isn't it the hadith says he bowed down and they bowed down with him when he intercede and he said the three letters of Allah, their intercession is a must. So what do you mean he don't believe, or, or, or believe in God? He do. But because he's mentally ill, he reached the point to make himself God. He became God slowly, slowly. The more he finds himself become important, the more he replaced his God by his persona. So he became the God. And God became a person who exists to serve him. This is why this man, like another sign of his mental illness, when he said that his God promised him in the heaven three women. Three women. One of them is the wife of Pharaoh, and the second one is Mary, the mother of Jesus. Why anyone want to say such a stupid statement unless he worship himself and he think about himself as the center of the world? That is a clear sign of mental illness. Why God want to reward me? Like imagine I say to you, I'm prophet of God, and Allah promised me I will have the mother of Muhammad. What is that? Is that to insult Muhammad or because I'm a great? <laughs> right? So obviously, uh, Muhammad is mentally ill severely, and he is very confused. Any Muhammadan? Mehdi, Mehdi. Nobody? Anyone? Shall we go back to the video of Lili Dawa and Gog and Magog? It's more entertaining. Let's go back. Look like the Muslims are scared from any topic. Let us go back to Lili Dawa. The way he explained Gog and Magog's story is so good, man. Uh, and there's things I agree with also. So the thing is here, it's just I don't want to get into the details of the nitty gritty. The point I'm trying to make is he also done a video on this matter. The point I'm trying to say and what I don't understand is this. Why do we have to? understand everything in the context where why does it always have to be logical why does it have to be something where we're like oh explain it to me logically or you know i'm going to start doubting things this is exactly why shaitan fell into disbelief when mm. allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him to do something bow down to adam he couldn't comprehend logically why he had to do that when he feels like he's better than him here you see another stupid thing he just said he just mentioned that when Allah told Shaitan to bow down to Adam, he could not comprehend logic logically why he have to do that. Well, can you answer why he have to do that? Any Muslim can tell me why Shaitan should bow down to Adam. Did you hear it, Awa? So why Shaitan? He disobey Allah because Allah is a stupid. This is what he said. Logically, is not right. He just said that. Any Muhammadan? Why Allah he commands Shaitan to bow down to Adam? I want to know. Is he? Uh, is Adam is God? You Muslim, you claim that uh, Islam teach you to not to bow down to anyone except Allah. But your God, Allah Himself, is the first one commanding mankind to obey and bow down, and even genies, even angels. To bow down to a man. Any Muhammadan? Yeah, and they say they don't accept Christianity because Christianity is not logical. But it's okay for Allah to be stupid and command, and not only that. 
You see, if you read the story, the angels accuse Adam of doing mischievement. Allah, he command the shaitan to bow down to Adam. You, see, you idiot. He, he did not do anything wrong. <laughs> and not only that, the Quran says it clearly that the one he commanded, it was the angels. Allah did not command shaitan. Shaitan in Islam is not an angel. He's not a fearing angel. In Islam, shaitan is a genie. And genie are different creatures from angels. Angels are made of light. In Islam, genie is made of fire. And some Christians, they are confused. They think that the word genie uh, is the same as demon. Muslims don't believe in demon. They don't have demons, so don't go in that side. Uh, so Allah, he said, supposedly, he is going to create uh, in the earth someone who will inherit the earth. And here you notice yourself, like, okay, who is going to inherit the earth? Like, is the earth, there's people, they will live there before? The Muslims are very confused. And some of them they say yes, there are some who used to believe it before and they were genie and some even they say they are angels and Allah destroyed them. And this is coming from the Sabian story. It says here, when the Lord said to the angels, as you see, Allah did not say to the shaitan. And by the way, there was one, one uh, according to Muslims, Allah, he kicked only one genie from heaven, only one, that is shaitan. <laughs> because later we will find something stupid they ask if Allah kick you know kick only one shaitan from heaven then how the Quran says shaitan and his children when shaitan have kids he married from who did Allah kick two or only one the verse is so clear Allah he kicked only one person he is a genie and then the Muslim they try to fix it, they make it more blind. So they say that when shaitan was kicked out from heaven, Allah created for him a penis and a vagina in the same time. The penis is in his right thigh and the vagina is in the left thigh. So when he want to have sex with himself, uh, he just shake his legs and he enter this into that. At the end of the day, he have 10 eggs from every egg 70 shaitan, male and female shaitan come out. If a Muslim want to say to me, I'm lying, well, feel free to join us and I will show you the reference. I will make you read it by your own. All right? Any Muslim? So not only it's a stupid, but it's out of, of, of stupidity. Shaitan have nothing to do with the conversation. Allah was talking to the angels. The angels accuse Allah of doing wrong. Allah said to them, He wanted to prove to them that they are wrong. So he did very something, something very silly. He, you know, he told Adam, "This is your dog, or this is your TV, and this is your refrigerator. This, the name of the TV is TV. The name of the refrigerator is refrigerator. The name of your dog is Susu." And now he came to the angels. He said to them. Look at those things. Tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. So Allah accused the angels, all of them, to be a bunch of liars. The angels now they get scared, like, what the heck? We do not know what the name of the refrigerator, and we do not know the name of the dog, which is Susu. And this is how Allah, he proved that the angels are not telling the truth. And then Allah decided to punish them. So he said to the angels, bow down. Okay, he said to the angels. And then he says, except Iblis, which means Shaitan. You stupid, you just said only angels bow down. Why Iblis will bow down? Imagine I say all dogs get out, and then I get upset from the cat. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? He just said only angels, he did not say, uh, if he say angels and genie, bow down, which is not fair, by the way, because the genie did not accuse Adam of anything. They did not do anything wrong. They are not even involved in the conversation.
Anyone? Maydi, Maydi, any Mohammedan? Maybe I need to call the sticker in my, I, you know, I got a new program. You can add stickers. And I found the stickers which like resemble Muhammadan, Abdul. When you ask them a question, they dance around the question. They never answer. Those who they are in Rumble, they will see the guy, the Abdul dancing. Ali Muhammadan, Mehdi Mehdi. And by the way, today we could not speak to our sister who have her daughter, she, she need my help. Uh, her daughter, she was late, she did not show up. So we will try some other day. Uh, only Muslims for now, please, no Christians. Give, just have patience. We want Muslims for now. Do we have any Muslim? J, are you a Muslim? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. What do you like to say to, say to us, uh, Jay? Uh, what's the... Well, we are talking about, I mean, which, I don't know what you like. Do you know anything about Gog and Magog? What is that? You don't know who's Gog and Magog? Well, Gog and Magog, supposedly they are creatures and they have a big ear and they sleep inside the right ear and they cover themselves with the left ear. Did you see anybody in your country like that? No. I saw. We have a president, his name is Joe Biden. He sleep anywhere. But, uh, so what do you know about Islam? What do you know about Islam? Tell me. I will talk only about things you know. I'm not going to ask you about things you do not know. Uh, the, uh, Allah is God and... Why is God? Why is God? How you, how you know He's God? Well, well, Allah in Arabic means God, right? No. Allah in Arabic is not a word mean God. It's a word. It's a name of God. You understand? Don't you say Allah is the name of God? Because if the, if the word Allah mean God, then you Muslim, when you take Shahada, you say there's no God but God. And that would be silly. Imagine I say, there's no banana but banana. Right? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so it's a name. So now how you know that this person, Allah, is God? He is not a person? No. What he is then? He's God. Okay, but how you know he's God? What do you mean? How you know that Allah is God? In what terms? Well, God, he can do... What, what do we call someone God? Because supposedly he's almighty. He can do what nobody can do. Can your God, Allah, do what nobody can do? Like Jesus, as an example, He resurrected people from death. Did Allah resurrect anybody? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Maybe He is taking some training. Okay, Allah ended. No, He did, he did not resurrect anybody. Did Allah, uh, uh, let us say, heal anybody? Like, did He make a blind see? Like Jesus? No. So now we have two to Jesus, zero to Allah. Okay. Did Allah, uh, let us say, uh, make the blind see? No. All right. Allah did not make the blind see. Jesus, he did. Correct? Well, the Bible says, and the Quran says, the Quran says that Jesus, he healed the blind, and he even created from the from the mud the bird. So all of those proving to us that God can do what Jesus can do. 
Allah could not do anything to them. Of them. So what what is left for Allah to be God? Do you, do, 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 do you go to school? Do you go to school? Like, are you in? Do you have education? No. No. Like me, then you know me and you, we are the same. I applied to teach uh, to be a professor in Stanford University. They told me, which is very disappointed, that I I don't need to know how to write and read. Crazy people, you know. What does have to do with being a professor? But anyway, I will apply for a different university in Afghanistan. So. We go back to zero. How do you know that Allah is God? Well, because Allah was the one that created the universe and all things. How you know? How you know? He, how you can be sure that He created anything? You just told me that I said to you, "Did Allah uh, do this and this and this?" You said no. So if Allah cannot make the blind see as Jesus did. If Allah did not reject anybody from death, as Jesus did, uh, how you can be sure that Allah is anything? Maybe a fiction name does not exist. How you can be sure? Uh, because we have the Quran. Well, the Quran is a very silly book. Okay, I will show you a story in the Quran. Can you see my screen? <coughs> Do you see my screen? Yeah. All right. Uh, if you if you read with me in the screen, let us see. I will show you this verse. Do you, what what kind of topic you like me to talk about? Do you like do you like something simple or something complicated? Like do you like science? Or you like you like stories like they are interesting. Like I have a story. I, I will tell you a story first before I go to the Quran, and I need your help. Yeah. I have my grandfather. Uh, I bought him a stick, you know, and a very nice stick actually. You know, we bought it from Amazon, and then because he liked it too much, he hold the stick wherever he go. So one day he was holding the stick and he was standing and he died. And this stick was so good to the point my grandfather was standing and he is dead for a year. What do you think about what happened to my grandfather? Standing for a year, imagine, brother. Was he a Muslim? Oh, yeah, my grandfather was a Muslim Hindu. But this is the question now. He is holding the stick and this is why nobody noticed that he is dead. For a year, one year, 12 months. My grandma, my mom, I go, hey, grandfather, you know, because I was, I, you know, I, I take like my, um, like cash from him. And I took advantage of him actually when he was holding the stick because now he's not moving. But I didn't know he's dead. So I put my hand in his pocket and take his credit card. I go to Amazon, I buy stuff, put it back, you know, for a year. But what do you think about the idea that nobody noticed that he is dead and he was standing for a year? Is it possible that somebody he die and he stays standing for a year? Maybe, yes. It's possible. Yeah, especially if he's my grandfather. Okay. Well, I don't know. I, I thought if somebody died, in a few day, in a second day, he would start to smell bad and his body would start decaying. And if somebody have heart attack and he's standing, he will fall down on the ground. Have you ever heard of somebody he dies standing and stays standing? Really? Like who? Can you give me the name? Yeah, uh, there's a Orthodox bishop that actually passed away. Yeah, but he's still standing until now? Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Can you give me his name? Remember his name, though. 
maybe uh, maybe you are saying his body is still preserved but not standing right uh yeah 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 sure yeah 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 his body is a preserved okay okay that's a miracle that's amazing that that's beautiful but we are talking about a guy who who died and he is standing I never heard of somebody like this. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. I, sure. yeah. I know when I say that to people, they say to me, you are stupid. You know, you are lying. And, you know, and they accuse me of lying. Uh, especially I have no witnesses except my uh, mom and me and uh, 96 cousins, you know, over the age of 18, all of them are boys. We used to go to my grandfather's bedroom and look at him when he's standing for a year. Still, people don't believe us. At that time, there was no telephone, you know, like no camera, you know. This was like uh, 10,000 years ago. But anyway, but if this is a crazy, if I say this to you, the crazy story, did you believe in it or you think it's not right? No, uh, I believe you. You believe me? Why you believe me? What if I'm lying? Well, lying would be bad, right? I know, but but it's true too. It's true, but it's true. Lying. There is people they lie too, correct? Yeah, liars. Okay, so if somebody is lying, he is not right. You know, so we should not believe everybody. Uh, we have to examine what people say to us. So, according to your understanding and your intelligence, is it really possible that somebody dies standing? Uh, no, because it could be easily uh, possible. It's easily possible or easy impossible? I'm not sure. What, what do you mean? That meaning that it could that it could be possible. It could be possible. Yes. But what is the possibility about it? As I thought that a human being, his body will decay. In less than 24 hours, his body will start de decaying. You know, this is why they put them in the refrigerator. And in a, in a, in a week or so, uh, even if, you, if even if they are holding you with anything, like, you know, standing up, hanging you, still your body will collapse. Your, your stomach... Will, full of, will be full of gas because whatever food you have inside the bacteria will start consuming it and then the body will start having like a big belly from the gas and because now you are dead therefore you don't even fart so the gas stay so the stomach will become bigger and bigger and bigger and then the dead body will start farting and stop I don't know if you saw a movie there's a movie about a guy he, uh, I think it was an airplane or something, you know, a crash in the ocean, and he took a dead body and he sat with him in the in the cave because he's like he he's under stress. He needs somebody to talk to him, and even he made a coconut in the shape of a head to talk to it. Anyone remember the movie, guys? Anyone remember the movie? I don't know the name. I don't remember names of movies. So this guy, he grabbed a he grabbed a dead man. He put him with him in the cave, and uh, and this guy he kept farting non non-stop, right? Uh, because he's dead and his body decay. So for how long the, the the body can survive? For how long the body can you know and the, the smell and you know? If you leave a chicken, if you have a dead chicken on your uh, uh, in your kitchen for two days. On your kitchen, what would happen to your kitchen? Uh, the chicken will go bad. And the smell will be so ugly, right? Yeah. All right. So how those people, nobody noticed that he is dead. If the smell alone should tell us that he is dead, what do you think? Uh, because, because God can do ah, okay. miracles. Basically, that won't happen. Ah, okay. But no, you see, God can do miracle. but I did not tell you the rest of the story. This guy, he was holding a stick in his hand, as I told you. But what happened after one year, the termite, you know what termite is? Uh, yeah. The ants, you know, ants, 
those ants, filthy ants, they come to the room and they started chewing on his stick and then it took them a year and then he fell down and then we noticed that he is dead. So if, Allah, if, if God is the one who's doing it, he would not allow the, the ants to chew the stick, right? He will give him full protection. Do you think Allah, like, you know, he cannot protect somebody from ants? He can, of course. Ah, yeah. He can protect, right? He, he can protect. Yeah. Okay, but he did not. Well, I mean, God can do anything. I know, I know God can do anything, but if you, if you, can't God, can't God, you see the story saying, and this is in the Quran, by the way, your God, he made Solomon die and he don't want people to know that he's dead. So why he caused him to die? If you don't want any, uh, if you don't want anyone to know, leave him alive for a year more. What this drama is about, and how this guy is married, and he is a king, and nobody noticed that this guy don't talk. Nobody noticed that this guy his eyes don't blink. Imagine we have like in the White House now, uh, Joe Biden. I mean. Joe Biden he is more fit more for the story. The guy doesn't talk anyway. If he talk, nobody understands what he's saying. But this guy is a king and he have a massive army. And yet uh, nobody noticed from all his ministers, uh, his wives, his army commands. Nobody noticed that he's dead. So what if I am standing, let us say I am standing, not moving. How come nobody knows, nobody notice that I am obviously dead? I am not eating, I am not going to the bathroom, I am not going to sleep, I am standing in my place for a year. What do you think? Uh, that sounds dumb. Sound dumb, right? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you, sound very dumb. But this is what the Quran is saying, my friend. This is in the Quran, chapter 34, verse number 14, as you see in the front of you. The ants, they eat the staff of uh, Suleiman, and when they eat it, he fell down. So you told me, I ask you why Allah is God, you said to me he is a creator. Well, yeah, he creates, he creates fiction stories. This is fiction story. Actually, this is not even his story. This is a story the Jews, they tell to their kids before bedtime to sleep. And you said yourself, you, ad, you agree that this is dumb. So do you agree with me that Allah is a dumb Allah? No. But you just said this is dumb. You just said, everybody heard you, my friend, everybody heard you, you said this is dumb. If I say what you said is dumb, obviously I'm saying to you, you are dumb. And the one who said this is Allah. So it is you who just said, Allah is dumb. Oh, man. You're right, yeah. Yeah. So, so you just left Islam, my friend. I'm happy for you. Islam is not good for you. What is stupid religion? Allah is dumb. Hey, people, any, anyone would like to believe in a God is a dumb God? Nobody. Do you? I mean, no, but like, why not though? How is God and is dumb? Okay, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna worship something dumb, the earth is full of dumb people. Go and marry a dumb woman. She will have a dumb wife. At least you can kiss her. She will be useful. This God is dumb. He's saying stupid stories. And there's no use of him. Marry a dumb woman. She will make you every day dumb burger. And she will make for you dumb children. And she will, I mean, she will give you a dumb life. Uh, and you know you can like 
have a better life with her. Me, myself, you know, I'm going to marry a dumb wife. Like I ask her, what we have for lunch? She said, she will say to me, who is lunch? Do you think it's a guy, you know? Yeah. So what do you mean? Uh, it's a dumb God. He's a dumb. That means stupid. How he is God, but he's stupid. Well, if you leave Islam, then I will, I will help you if you like me to help you. You know, I know uh, for me, I am a person who believe in the Messiah. I believe he is the wise Lord, and I believe that all the wisdom we have, including any wisdom I have, me myself, if I have it, it's a gift to me from the Lord. So, if you like, you know, you can, you know, we can explain to you about the Messiah. If you like to accept him, I will be happy to help uh, yeah. you. All right. What do you like to know about the Messiah? What do you know about the Messiah before we? So did you decide? Did you decide to leave Islam? Uh, yeah. All right. That's wonderful. I'm happy for you that you are out of Islam. But what do you know about the Messiah then? But what was the good news Jesus he wanted to preach? Uh, the kingdom of God is near. That's it? Is that about him? He is the savior? Yeah, and, and, and yes, yeah, of yeah. course. So do you like to be saved? Uh, yeah, of course. Well, if the Messiah is the savior, then, and you like to be saved, then you have to accept the Messiah as your Lord. And you know, uh, his name is a Christ. Christ is not a name of a person. Christ is a title. He is a title. And this title only one person in the whole universe has. The Savior. So no one else can save you. No one else can save me. As you see, Allah is dumb. Muhammad is silly. Quran is a stupid book. So we have only one hope. That is the Messiah. And you will notice that the Messiah, if you remember when we start talking, me and you, we mentioned that the Messiah is the Creator. He resurrected people from death. He made the blind see, not by giving him medicine. He have a command over illness. He created eyes for him. He made the one who cannot walk, walk. He can tell you the future. He can forgive your sin. So, if this is the Messiah, then who is God? It must be the Messiah then. Because there is nothing left for him. He cannot do. Even in the day of judgment, this is why he is the Savior. He will be the judge in the day of judgment. So, do you like to accept the Messiah as your Lord and your Savior, my friend? Do you accept the Messiah as your Lord? Uh, yes. I mean to that. We are happy for you. If there is any question you'd like me to answer you about the Messiah? Because I want you to know more, not only just to believe in Him. I'm happy for you that you decide to leave Islam today now and you became a Christian. But we don't want you to be Christian just by name. We want you to be a Christian who knows. So if there is any question I would, you, know, you would like me to, uh, to explain? Okay, give it to me, no problem. John what? Uh, John 17, 3. All right. Well, John 17, 3, 
you see uh, are you the per like, are you a kind of a person who like to read a verse in a book or you read the book uh, all right so, so in order to read John in order to read John we have to go and read John. So John 17, it says, I will play the audio for you actually, and let us hear it together, is that okay? Yeah. All right. Let us see what John 17 is saying. Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven, okay. and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your Son also may glorify you, as you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. And now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. All right. I have manifested your name to the men. We will continue. Let us stop here, one by one. Did Jesus say in that chapter the following? Did he call the one he is speaking to, call him the Father? All right, and then did he say that glorify your son? The Messiah said, okay. So the Messiah here confirmed that he is the son of God. And then he continued saying that your son also may glorify you. So the father glorified the son, the son glorified the father because we believe in the Trinity. So this Jesus is not a God the Father want to glorify me. I'm nobody. Who is a Christian prince? Nobody. But because the Messiah is divine, the Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So the Father glorified the Son and the Son glorified the Father. And let us see what he says more. You have given him the authority over the flesh. Who is the one who have the power over mankind in the day of judgment? God or prophets? Uh, God. That is Jesus. He just said he is the one who has the, the power over the flesh. And then he said, should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. So Jesus is the one who give the eternal life. And this is the eternal life. That they may know you that the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Jesus Christ is who? Is the Son, correct? He already says that. Confirm it, right? Yeah. And then he says, I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. And now, Father, glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I had with you before the word was. Do you see Jesus just said, He is exist with the Father before the whole world is exist? Uh, yeah. Okay, so the Muslim, they, they quote this verse always to say Jesus, he said there is only one true God, but Jesus in the same verse, he confirmed that he is the Son. He confirmed that the Father glorify him. He confirmed that he was sent by the Father and have authority over eternal life. He confirmed that he was exist before the world is exist. That means Jesus is eternal, correct? Yes. And only God is such a person. So before the whole universe is created, the Messiah is exist, which means the Messiah himself is not created. We agree? Okay, yeah, makes sense. Okay, so the Messiah, obviously, in the same verse, which the Muslim, they keep using it over and over, and they are very selective. They go right away to verse number th uh, uh, three, but they don't want to read verse number one and two and three and four, 
because simply is going to prove them to be liars. And that's why they want to read only one verse. Okay. If we give the Muslims, if we give the Muslim a verse, what the Muslim they do? You say we are taking it out of context. Why you don't read the verse before it and the verse after it? When it's come to the Bible, they don't want you to read the verse before it and the verse after it. <laughs> yeah, so, so, I also have, uh, one more verse, uh, if you can. Go ahead. <clears throat> uh, it'll be Matthew 26, 39. Okay. What uh, what is the problem with this verse? Do you have a problem with it? Yeah. So, so basically, it tells you that uh, that that Jesus is begging to remove them to re to remove the cup. So yeah. What do you see? Actually, this is a refute Islam because the Muslim they say that your God he committed suicide, right? Which is absolutely oh, false. Yes. The Messiah he knew what they will do, and the Messiah obviously he don't like the idea of somebody, and especially he is divine. Somebody will come and he will bring him humility to him. Nobody will like it, even us as a human, right? So what oh, the yeah. What the Messiah is asking the Father, you will notice here, this is additional proof that of the Trinity. But the Messiah, when he say, uh, I will not drink the, cu the cup of this cup first, uh, when you talk about this uh, this verse, actually, I think you gave me the wrong verse, right? Uh, no, it's Matthew 20, Matthew 26, 39. Ah. Uh, 26 39 yeah okay well uh, I, I don't know it's uh, I don't see what you are saying I thought you are quoting different verse actually can you read for us yeah so it says and yeah so it says and going a little order he fell on his, he fell on his face and prayed, "My father, my father, if if it if it is possible, let us cut." And what verse you and what ver, and what verse you are reading? Uh, Matthew twenty six thirty nine. So meaning mm, that okay. Jesus is asking to read to. Uh, oh, th okay, 39, okay, 39, okay, 39, all right, 39, okay, 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 all right, okay, yeah, okay, so, uh, you are right now, actually, I, I got you right in the beginning, but I, then I, I got confused which number you're talking about, yeah, but you notice here, as I told you, the Messiah is in total agreement with the Father, let your will be done, but the Messiah is not in the favor of what will happen, but the Messiah, he knew, and this is additional proof that the Messiah is God, how I know that they will crucify me? How I know what they will ha what ha what happen to me? He knew he can see tomorrow, so he's asking the father. The son is asking the father if this is possible. I don't like it. I don't like to do this. It's not really what I'm looking for. But let your will be done. If this is your will, here you notice that the son is always obedience to the Father. This is why in Christianity it's obvious. The word Father is about the one who have more authority than the one who is called Son. The Son is obeying the Father. That's why we Christian we believe that the Son is born of the Father, not the Father is born of the Son. So here Jesus did not refuse. He accept, even though it is not what really he liked to do. And this is a proof again that the Muslim they lie when they say that it's our God who liked to commit suicide. He did not call the Jews to kill him. He did not ask the Jews to kill him. He knew that the Jews, they are going to do that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. 
And not only that, here you notice something very important. Uh, if Jesus, he don't want, like we hear many, they say to you, that the Christians, they uh, when they say they are saved by the blood of Jesus, they, uh, they celebrate the killing of an innocent person who died for their sin. This is what they say. Is it is it fair? This is what they say. If Jesus commit no sin, is it fair that he die for our sin? Uh, this is not about fair and not fair. It is not Jesus who called the Jews and say, "Hey, come and take me to court and kill me." It's not the Christians who called the Jews says, "Hey, kill Jesus." Correct? We did not. And Jesus himself, as you see, he is not in favor of it. But the future will not be changed and let it be happened. Let your will be done. So the Jews, they plot against him. The Roman, they execute. The Messiah came back from, from the tomb and he was victorious. So what the problem? The problem is that you go to the cross, they will, you, will, you will go through him, unity. people will, will uh, 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 will assault you, people will uh, maybe spit at you, people will call your names, all of those ugly stuff. Yet Jesus, he said, let your will be done. So the Messiah is always totally obedient to the Father, and the Messiah always in agreement with the Father. And you will notice uh, the Messiah even later, he told his disciple when they will give him up, when they will deny him. He said to the first one, you will say this, he said to the second one, you will say that. He will say it like when the, when the rooster uh, in the morning, he, he, you know, he make the sound, uh, you will deny me, uh, etc. And it's exactly one by one, all of them happen. So the story here confirmed to us many things. The Messiah don't deserve to be crucified. The Messiah, yet even though he don't deserve, he is willing to go for it. The Messiah is totally obedient to the Father. And the Messiah, he knew the future exactly by details about what will happen. And this is why actually he was asking the Father that if it's possible to remove away this cup, because he knew. Okay, yeah, now everything makes more sense now. And plus here, uh, if you uh, uh, if you go just a few verses before uh, as an example verse number 31 Jesus said to them that you will deny me right yeah, yeah the Messiah he told them that you will deny me and he told Peter you will stumble And Jesus, he assured them of what will happen next. Even though Peter in verse number 35, he says, Peter said to him, even I have to die with you. I will not deny you. And then what will happen is the opposite. So the Messiah never, never say something doesn't come true. And he have full knowledge of the truth and of the future. And that again is a clear evidence of the Messiah who is he and his nature as divine, the son of God who come to earth. Anything else? Okay. No. Uh, I don't. Do you like to pray to, with me now to the Messiah so he might accept your promise to him to be a devoted Christian? Our Father, out of heaven, our Lord, our Savior, Almighty God, we pray that our brother here today who accepted you, he promised to de devote himself to be a man of God who love you, cherish you, obey you, and he will not go astray. Our Father, we pray 
that you will guide him and you will keep him safe from every misleading spirit like Allah and Muhammad and all demon who they will be angry against him for he refused them from now on today he want to say to you that he want to be born again so please father accept him to be a child of God in your kingdom I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, to our brother here, to have salvation promised forever. Amen. Amen. If you want to say anything, if you want to make a prayer, it's up to you. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to head out now. All right. Wasting your time. No, I'm not wasting my time, my friend. I'm here to help people. That's what I do. Thank you very much for coming. God bless you. See ya. All right. Do we have any Muslim? All right. We have Jay. Jay. Oh, no. Here's Jay. Are you a Muslim? Um, yes, my brother. Huh? Yes, yes. Okay. What do you want to say to us? Did you? Want... About go, Mog and Gog and Magog, Mark. you mean? Yeah, Mark 1332. Oh, you want to talk about Mark? Yes. You don't want to talk about Islam? No, 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 I just want to talk about Mark 1332. Okay, but what about we go a little bit, because our topic, as you see, is about Islam. You know, for me, I would love to talk with, about the Bible, as many verses as you want, but, yes. but uh, you have to leave Islam first. Because this my, type, my topic here is about Islam, but what, what happened always, I go and I say, okay, who can explain Islam to us? The Muslim, they come to us, the, the, the Muslim, they come, and they want to talk about what? They want to talk about anything except Islam. Okay, okay, we can speak about Islam. All right. Sorry? What? Fuck your mama, you little piece of shit, you son of a predator piece of shit. Oh, fuck your mama. <laughs> Satanic people. All right. The demon inside them have to speak. You made me laugh. You think you made me angry? It's you who is upset. I'm afraid that you will have a heart attack. You are upset because your brother, he just left the, the demon of Muhammad. And he became a Christian. He became our brother. That's why you're upset. They don't want to talk about Islam. They want to talk about the Bible. They don't know their religion. They have no idea what the religion is teaching. And suddenly they become expert in the Bible. And they quote for you a verse only. One verse. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Well, a person, he speaks such a language, obviously, we know what kind of a person he is. And obviously, he is a very devoted Muslim. You see, even Muhammad, you know, today when we were talking in the morning, we mentioned how Muhammad, he used the same language, the F word, Speaking to Muslim, even he beat them up. Right? And he claimed that he made a condition with Allah. He made a condition that anyone he beat him or he curse him or he say the F word to him, may Allah make it a blessing for him and a kind of a purity and sanctifying him. How in the world that can be from God? Read carefully. Chapters, chapter whomsoever is cursed or prayed against by the prophet when he does not deserve that. So this is very normal in the Islamic demonic garbage so-called Islam religion. 
why a prophet of God he will curse people he will beat people he will insult people even he whipped their back as you see here very harmful violent against people who did nothing to him as you see it says they don't deserve they don't deserve it so why you do it did Jesus did anything like this he was unjust to anyone and how that is going to be a blessing for a person And why Muhammad praying against a person who don't deserve such a prayer? Don't you know that this is a very ugly sin to start cursing people who don't deserve? They did not do anything. It says it clearly, as you see in the title, they don't deserve. This is their Muslim website saying that. This is the title of the book. The chapter name, whomever is cursed, reviled, or prayed against by the Prophet when he does not deserve that why in the world and how if I curse him and beat him and be unjust to him I can solve the problem by says I pray to Allah to make that a reward for you how I can do that so Allah he reward the unjust of Muhammad to you shouldn't he punish Muhammad Any Muhammadan? So you can insult me, you can say whatever you want, but that will not change the fact that you are just following the footstep of Muhammad. You see, if Muhammad doing what he is doing and he, to somebody, deserve it, I would say, okay, the guy deserve it. But it says it clearly. You know, if somebody beat people and they don't deserve it, what people they will say? Hey Muslim, if somebody go in the street and he start pe beating people who don't deserve to be beaten, what we will say about such a person? What a description can be given to such a man? You tell me. Criminal. Gang. Filthy. A person he go in the street start cursing everybody insulting and do physical harm what is the description for such a person and are you a Muslim <laughs> If you are a Muslim, put your hand up. Go ahead then. Are you a Muslim? Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Are you a Muslim? No, not a Muslim. Uh, I just want to... I am an ex-Muslim, actually. Oh, okay. I just told you how I, I became uh, ex-Muslim. All right. How I became Christian, actually. Okay. So, um, um, did you know about the, the subject about... Uh, the Mahdi, all that. The Mahdi and the... the sure, the sure. Al Mahdi, when he fell down in his butt, he don't even fart. I know the Mahdi. We used to go to school together. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, talking about the, you know, the, the Mahdi that is coming, all that. The, yeah, the Mahdi is coming, uh, but I'm talking about his Mahdi when he was born. You know, according to Muslims, especially Shia, Al Mahdi, he don't fart. He don't do poo poo. And he was born from his mother's thigh. And when he fell down in his ass, he said, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> what a cute boy. <laughs> and you know, because they worship such a name, you know, they claim that his mother, they don't even know the mother name. So they claim that this woman, Nargis, or whatever the name they give her, that because every different story, she did not give birth to him from her vagina. She don't even have a vagina, brother. She gave birth to him from her thigh. 
because there's no way the Mahdi will be born from a vagina. Are you kidding me? As my by the way, my mother, she told me, I think this is true. She gave me she gave birth to me from under her arm. You know? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Sorry, the mic is yours. <laughs> So actually, the way the how I, I like the the reason the, the number one reason I left Islam uh -huh. was because of this story about the Nazi, the return of the Nazi and Isa. All right. Actually, uh, you know, in the Bible it talks about you know the beast uh, coming out of the sea and the beast coming out of the earth. You know, the two beasts. Uh huh. And you know, the first beast. If you can, I, I don't want to talk too much about it, but just a wrap up. Like the first beast is gonna come like to rule for a, a period of time, like three and a half years, I think. Uh huh. And there's like a seven years of tribulation. There's many stories. Okay. That, yeah, yeah. That goes with the story of the mad. You know, the mad is gonna live for like. Okay. The hadith says he's gonna live for eight. Yeah, you are talking about. Uh, when you are talking to me, you are talking about the 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 hadith of the Sunni or the Shia. I don't actually know. It's like I think it's the okay. one of the hadith. I I I look, I look at it. Uh, sorry, uh -huh. I've looked it up like uh, very fast. Yeah. Uh, talks about you know he's gonna rule for seven years, all that, and all right. he's gonna be like the last caliphate, all that, and okay. with him, like there's gonna be Jesus, the Muslim Jesus, not the mm -hmm. Jesus, all right. and he's gonna help him. And that's actually like very similar to the story of the Bible, like you know the. The Antichrist and the false prophet. So yeah. that's how I I I I came to the truth. Okay. That's when I really started to look more about the Bible or that. All right. I mean you can use this as if you really look onto the end time prophecies, you yeah. can use this to convince like Muslims to Yeah, but you know but this. but for us, you know, remember that uh, the Mahdi story is nothing but a fabrication. And uh, I believe the reason is fabricated because many they force to convert to Islam, and uh, Islam strip anything, let us say, is spiritual from their life. And Muhammad is powerless except by war and attacking his neighbors. Actually, even war almost he was destroyed. It was a bad luck that he did not. He, they did not finish him. The enemy almost they, they overcome him. So Al Mahdi was simply a very much similar story about the Messiah. It's like they tried to replace the Messiah story of the Christians with someone. Yeah. He is a Muslim. They needed somebody to worship yeah. the, the Shia uh, and the Muslim Sunni. They needed someone uh, uh, like like the Messiah. In their religion, the Messiah obviously be, belong to you know he's born between the Jews and they belong to the Christians. Obviously, he don't belong to the to Arabia. So now they try to replace such a name by a new person, and they come with the fabrication of the story of Al Mahdi. Go ahead. Like yeah, the counterfeit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even though even though it's false, all like it's all false. I believe that God really used. Islam, like the Islam sin, to to like to do his plan, you know. Like Satan really used Islam, and God, you know, knows the plan of Satan, mm -hmm. and knows what he's gonna do, what he's preparing, like for the final battle, you know, the <coughs> yeah, <laughs> the fight when the Armageddon, I think, something like that. Okay. <clears throat> I believe. Uh, I don't want to be a very uh, dogmatic. I don't, I don't even know if it's true, but I read the Revelation, and it says like uh, about the you know the beast and the the false prophet. It's really really similar to the stories of the of the. I, I mean, if you if you ask a Muslim, maybe after me, you can ask him about the Mahdi, what you believe about the Mahdi and Isa. He's gonna say, mm -hmm. oh, the Mahdi is gonna come to rule seven years. And with him it's gonna be Isa, and then the Mahdi will will just I don't know what, how he's gonna die, but he's gonna rule for seven years, and then it's gonna be only Isa for the rest. Like I think he's gonna. Yeah, obviously, die. as I said, they are just trying to replace the Messiah. That the Messiah is coming back, but they want someone. He is a Muslim, you know, uh, someone from the family yeah. of Muhammad. That's why the Shia they start worshiping the family of Muhammad, you know, 
uh, uh, paganism is always never die. They never never die. So yeah. the Muslim Sunni, they have different kind of format of paganism. They don't believe in worshiping the family of Muhammad as gods, but in reality, they consider Muhammad God, for he can even cancel the command of Allah. The Shia, they go farther and they consider the person like Ali and the person like uh, Muhammad and Fatima and Hassan and Hussein, they consider them, they are, they, are, they are from the essence of God. So they are light. They were in the forehead of Allah before the whole world is created. And here you notice like when Jesus says, uh, Father, I was with you before the world, right? The, yeah. the Muslim now, they replace Jesus, who was with the Father before the world, with the family of Muhammad, including the Mahdi. Uh, they are the one who exists before the world. Actually, they believe that the whole world is created for their sake. But isn't it, isn't it the Bible says, everything created by him and for him? Right? Yeah, true. Sure. So they are what they are doing. They are just replacing the Messiah, and then they did the same even with uh, with Mary. So Mary now they have their own Mary. That is Fatima. Yeah, yeah. You know. The Titanic catastrophe. Yeah. So go ahead. We are listening to your story. Sorry, I'm not going to disturb you no more. Tell us about your story. No, actually, it's, uh, it's, it was it was only that. Just want to say. Uh, that uh, like you can use that as a, an example for uh, for the revelation that mm. the first beast is actually really similar to the story about the Hadi, all that and the you know as you said uh, even Jesus I think in the Bible he says I, I don't remember the verse he says uh, one day they will they will uh, preach another Jesus to you and that's literally like exactly prophecy fulfilled. Exactly. Muslims are preaching another Jesus. Right, right. So, Muhammad, yes. actually the whole idea of Muhammad, Muhammad he says, I am Al-Mahi, which means he is the eraser. He want to erase Jesus. You know? Yeah. yeah, this is his dream, to erase a Christianity. They ask him to erase what? He says to erase Christianity. You know, as simple as that. There's no, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. He didn't know he's, he's really doing the wrong thing. No, he knew. Yeah, they didn't know it themselves. Yeah, but he he knew he's evil. You know, obviously yeah, he's, he's an evil man. Yeah, he's an evil man. Yeah, and we, but you know, for me, when I debate Muslims, I always prefer to let us say uh, talk about what they believe, uh, not not to use the Bible unless I have to, because I noticed that using the Bible with the Mohammedan is sometimes sometime is kind of a waste of time, especially if he is not going to listen, you know. A person who don't listen, uh, the Bible says, don't throw the jewel of God under the feet of a swine. He will act like a pig. He will start insulting. He will start disgracing. So I will not mention the Bible to someone. He is not ready for it. So first, what, we, what I do, it's like, you know, when you format a computer, you know, there's a virus, right? So what do you do? You need to clean the computer. You don't just go and uh, install. If you if you put a new uh, 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 operation by reinstalling, still the virus is there. You have to format the computer, clean it from the virus, and then you go and install software. So a Muslim he is infected. He have infestations of viruses, not only one virus. So. Yeah. In order to, to give him what is right, we need to first uh, uh, make him stop believing in the falsehood of Muhammad, and after that he will start listening. Before that, it's just a waste of time, mostly, in most of the cases. Yeah, it's very, it's very uh, like the Islam is very uh, brainwashing. Yeah. I was when I was Muslim and I was hearing like debates. I was really like. I was listening to a Christian and always thinking, oh, he's, he don't know the truth, he don't know the truth, like, he can't know the truth. Like, Jesus is God, like, what is this? Like, it was really brainwashed. Well, yeah. well, Jesus is God, you know, let's say a Christian, he is brainwashed to believe in Jesus. 
But give me a reason not to believe. I mean, this person in his book, in the book of the Muhammadan, he resurrect people from death. He create from yeah, the mother yeah. bird. So now Jesus, he is the creator. Or at, at, in the worst scenario, he is a, a, a creator. And he is a resurrector. Okay. Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus. And he gave those names to Allah. In the Quran, Allah have 99 names supposedly. By the way, the Quran doesn't have 99 names. M most of them are fabrication. They are not in the Quran. Uh, but the most important names of Allah is the creator and the resurrector. Jesus says, I am the truth. 600 years before Muhammad, Allah in the Quran, his name is the truth. Al-Haq. So who is copying who? And yet they say to you, where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. So Jesus, not only he said, I am the life, I am the resurrection, I am the first, I am the last, I am the truth. He did what God does. He raised people from death, which the Quran confirmed that only God can do so. In the history of Islam, there is no man, no man resurrected any human being. In the history of Islam, there is no man was able to create any living being. Only Jesus. No man in the history of Islam was born, yet he have no father. Only Jesus. Adam was not born. The stupid Quran says, because the author of the Quran is shallow in his intelligence, he says, the similarity of, of Isa is the same as Adam. He said to him, be and he was. Then if we go, and check the story of both Isa and Adam. We will find that this is a very stupid statement because neither Isa, neither Adam was created by saying, be and he was. Neither. Allah, he created Adam by making mud, using his hands, as the Quran says. He dried him for 40 years. 40 years to dry him. And then after 40 years, he blew his spirit in him. So where does the word be and he was? Right? This is a very stupid statement. The same for Jesus. According to the Quran, Allah sent the Holy Spirit. And those are stories, by the way, Muhammad don't believe in Holy Spirit. Muhammad don't believe in Isa or Jesus. He don't believe in Moses. Muhammad is trying to use those names to make the Jews and the Christians believe in him. He's a satanic person, demonic. He believes in God, obviously, but his God is Satan, evil. He says Allah is the best here, so... Yeah, he have to, like, you know, there's many cults, many scams, scams, what they do, like, you know, if I want to make you give me your credit card, what I would do? I will call you, I says I'm from the bank. Uh, we found there is some suspicious activities in your uh, bank account. Please go to this link and immediately change your password. You, if you are not smart enough, you will believe them because they told you from the bank. And they have a website. It looked like the website of the bank. Look exactly like it. You go there. You put the username, the password, password, bingo. You are screwed. Your money is gone. So in order to scam you, they have to make you believe first that you can trust them. And this is the same of Muhammad. So he said, I believe that Isa is born of a virgin. I believe in all his miracles. But in then, Isa is nobody. He's no one. I'm going to erase him. Nobody, he, died. he, he didn't die. And yeah, and how, and it, how can you say, how, sorry, how can you say uh, that God uh, deceived people at the, they, they at, the someone? at the cross, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, at 600, 600 years after just telling Not them, only that, actually. After they all died, that actually, was actually, true. actually, the story confirmed that the Christians, they have the correct story in their Bible. Why? Because if Allah, he made us see it. So what we should write down? If Allah, he took Jesus, the Jews not notice, nobody notice, so, and the Christian they saw, 
all those Christians, thousands, watching the Messiah and the cross. So what the Messiah, what the Christian will believe? They will believe that Messiah was crucified. So if the Quran is saying Allah, He made it appear, I mean, who is stupid here? Shouldn't we say what we saw? If we saw the Messiah crucified, well, the decency is to say what you saw. Like if you go in the court as a witness, do you witness to something wrong or what you saw? You witness for what I saw. They ask you what you saw, what you saw. You say, I saw this guy killing this guy. Okay, this is what he saw. All right, look like we have another Muslim. Thank you, my friend, for calling us. And we are, we are happy for you that you left Islam. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank All you. right. Bye -bye. Go ahead, Mr. Hafiz. Oh, Hafiz. Do you have a microphone, Hafiz? I also have a microphone. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? I want to ask, does Jesus know the hour? Do Allah know the hour? Does Jesus know the hour? I want to ask this question. Uh, Jesus, he is the son of God. The father is the one who announced the hour. Do Allah know the hour? I answer you. Jesus said, only my father, my friend, the verse is so clear, only the father, not even the son. So if this is an excuse for you to believe that Jesus is not God, the rest of the verse says that when those signs, this and this and this and this happen, I will come and I will be the judge of all mankind. And who is going to be the judge for mankind is Jesus, which is God. Now I'm asking you the same question. Do Allah knew the hour? But if Jesus is God, Jesus if should exactly if Jesus is God he should know the hour this is your logic but is, is do your logic work in your religion it does work. Does, does no it if you go no if, if you go no in my in my belief because we believe in the Trinity the son have a job the father have a job the Holy Spirit have a job so it is the job of the father to announce the hour not for the son in your religion do you have a father and son so how you explain to me that your God in the Quran in chapter of the moon he says the moon is split and the split as a, a, a cleft ascender and the judgment day is near did the judgment day happen uh, is the moon splitting a sign of the judgment day you're, you're moving from the time no i'm not I, an, I answered you i answered you can you answer me how allah do not know how allah he claimed falsely that the moon is split which is false and this is a sign of the day the judgment day started which is false and we are 1400 years after that and yet the announcement of Allah it turned to be nothing but false the verse in the front if you read it yeah but how can you prove that it's false because the moon did not because the moon according according to you Muslims the moon when it's split became two part and to the point it's far from each other to the point the Mount of Hara appear between them so now we have the moon, one in the east and one in the left. We have two moons, two pieces. Is the moon until now like that? But if God can do it, God No, no, no problem. Guys, God can do it. I agree. God can do anything, but not your God. Is the moon now. Your, your God in the Quran, he said, he split the moon. Did your God in the Quran say, I put the moon together or I split the moon? I, I I answered you. I answered you. You are you see. Let me repeat again. God the Son have a job. Jesus says, "I God my Father is speaking to the Father." He says, "I did the work, and you have a work to do. And I work, and you work too. And it is for the Father to announce the hour. For the Son, this is not his job. For the Son is to be the judge in the judgment day. And even your prophet he says, the Messiah will come down as a ruler and absolute just." So he is a just judge for all mankind before the day of judgment. Now we go back to the Quran. Allah, he split the moon. Did Allah glue the moon again? Again, let me speak if possible. But you are, you are answering. I'm asking you to speak. Here we go. Did Allah, Allah split the moon? Did Allah glue the moon again? But your God do not know the hour. In my in my case, my the, the, we, we have a trinity. In my case, we don't believe that Jesus is the same person as the Father. So I just told you, the Father have a job to do to announce the hour. The Son have the job to do to judge the hour. 
in your case as a Muslim do you Muslim have Allah as a son and he have a father and this is why he do not know what is it Mrs. God what is God because he is a son of God and the, the, as you see you see in the Quran it says that Jesus he can tell you what you hide in your houses so he knew the future in the Quran in your Quran is that correct is it true that in the Quran? Nigger, stop me, fucking nigger. <laughs> A bunch of filthy racists. Do you see how stupid they are? Look at this. And Muhammad, he saw a child. He asked him, "What is the, when the hour will be?" He said, "The child will not get old before the hour will come." What the Muslims they say? He don't mean the judgment day. He mean their hour. What hour? Why Muhammad? He knew when the people would die too. Isn't it the Quran says nobody knows when a, when a, when a soul will die save Allah. Allah he split the moon. Well, this is a fallacy. We do not need to be genius to know that this is absolutely false. The moon did not split. It's there. And Allah, he said, he split the moon. He did not say he put it back together. Did he? Any Muhammadan? They get upset. Their demon come out of them because we are using the name of Jesus. Hafiz, should I ask Allah to split you to pieces like the moon? May Allah split you, Hafiz. <laughs> what a stupid God. Your God do not even know how the baby is made, how he will know the hour. Hmm? Da'wah gang, how are you doing, Da'wah gang? Go ahead. Go ahead, Da'wah gang. Are you there? Okay, Dawa Gang simply is uh, having uh, Islamic masturbation, which is called diarrhea. I mean, even your prophet, when he receives revelation, he makes sound like this. Shall I show you? Oh, hold on. Your God. How he delivered the Quran to Muhammad? Seriously, how Allah delivered the Quran to Muhammad? Shall we check it out? Let us take a look. According to the according to Muhammad, Muhammad received the Quran as a sound of a bell. This is your religion. Read and love. So if Muhammad he received Quran as a sound of a bell, how the Quran become an Arabic? Any Muslim can tell us? And what make it more funny, Muhammad he said many time that the bell is the sound instrument or the music instrument of shaitan. Is that right? Muslims, is that right that your prophet said that the bell is the music instrument of shaitan? Or a Christian prince is making things up? How the music instrument of shaitan is the bell? How Muhammad says angels will not even enter a house have a sound of a, of a bell and then he himself he receive Quran as a sound of a bell any Muhammadan hmm? who is a Muhammadan would like to join us mayday mayday how do you do 
I have a Quran in the sound of a bill like you. For you. Angels of Islam will not enter our house. Have a bill or a dog or an image supposedly. Muhammad have a phobia from the bill. Why? Because the Christian they use it for the church. Do you see how evil he is? But there's a stupid guy who have obviously mentally illness, he forgot that he said this already. He received Quran in the sound of a bell. It doesn't work. Either it is the sound and the music instrument of shaitan. Either what you said is true, that the angels will not enter a house. They will not accompany a, a, a person. They will not accompany a people, even if they are shepherd. Who have the sound of a bill in their animals they put the bill in the in the neck of the animal so if he's lost we can find it angels will not accompany those people how the angel himself come in with the Quran and giving the Quran in the sound of a bill who is the stupid here I tell you Muhammad you can get angry you can get upset we love. You can call names, you can curse us. We love. Any Muhammadan? Anyone? You see, this is why you should not go to any Muslim program or chat rooms because this is how faithy their language is as soon you disagree with them. They say they afford, they use the N-word, they are racist, uh, 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 they speak a very, very disgusting language. Hello, brother. Hello, hello. Yo, there's this Sunni of Al Amat, his name is Jerry, and not the Sunni. I don't understand. Sorry, speak louder. Oh, there's there's a Sunni guy. I want I want you to debate him. To debate him. His okay. name is Jerry. I invite him. I, I know. Can. You have to do it, Jerry. How I can invite him? He have to come. He put his hand up. I can take him up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let Jerry. let him to put his hand up. He can. You can invite Tom, Tom and Jerry and all of them. All right. All right. I don't see it. I'm on phone right now, so. Yeah. Well, when he raises his hand, you know, we will invite him. Until that happens, what we can do. Tom and Jerry make more sense than Muhammad. Take any story. I'm serious. Take any story. Like the guy, Suleiman, he died holding the stick. You will not find that in Tom and Jerry. I mean, the guy he died, imagine we make the story of Suleiman dying holding the stick for a year. And then the termite, they enter the room. And the wife, she entered the door, she opened the door. Honey, you want to eat, honey? And Suleiman, they will answer. She come after two hours. Honey, you want to have sex, honey? And Suleiman don't answer. Second wife. Suleiman have many wives. This guy is a king. He's a massive, powerful army. I mean, don't he even go do poo poo? Like, don't they notice that this guy don't eat, don't cheat, don't beat, don't meet, don't keep, don't feed? He don't even move his feet? Sort of for a year, nobody noticed that the guy is dead. Mickey Mouse will not come with such a story. Kids will not laugh. Like, what the heck is this guy doing? Why is he not moving? Imagine the whole movie, we have to wait one year now watching. So the man is standing holding a stick. This is a religion? Yo. Huh? Wait, he said he's here now. He said he's here. All right, let him come. He's a Sunni babbler. So no problem. Sunni yeah. Shia, we take all kinds of sandwiches. But Sunnis like to do jihad. No problem. I'm here for jihad. Yeah, hello? 
Yes, uh, Ms. Mr. Jerry, how are you doing? Uh, please, if you don't mind, uh, Mr. Lul, you can leave and leave us with Mr. Jerry. Go ahead, Mr. Jerry, how are you doing? You are a Muslim, my friend? Uh, yeah. What do you like to tell us about Islam? I like to convert to Islam, but nobody was able to convince me. Uh, why do you want to convert to Islam? I like women. You like women? Oh, you just stay in Christianity then? No, in Islam I can have four wives in the same time, and if I am prophet, I can have at least 13 in the same time. In Christianity, I can have only one. So, is having four wives immoral? I just told you I like it. What's wrong? Did I say it's immoral? I'm saying it's immoral. I, I did not say it. You asked me why you want to be a Muslim. I told you why. I said I like to have many wives. That's all. I did not say anything about immoral. But is it moral that a Muslim, he can have only four, but the Prophet, he can have unlimited? Why your Prophet can have unlimited number of women? Isn't he a Muslim like the rest? You only have four women at a time. No, your prophet, he have, according to you, Muslim, 13 wives. He had, he had 11 wives. 11, El 11 no, 13. Yeah, I can name all of them to you. 13, I can right now show you in the screen that your prophet have 13 wives. Show me. All right, let us see. How many wives prophet Muhammad he have? Here we go. And we will not show anyone except Muslim website. Let us see, give, give me a second. How many wives Prophet Muhammad has or had all right the wives of Prophet Muhammad who are they all right here we go open the link and read and you have the names of them one by one here we go open the link and read I will post it in the chat. It wasn't all at the same time. Does it say 13? Ah, that's the same time. Ah, so how many in the same time? You said 11? Yeah, yeah wait, wait, stop. Okay, okay so he, he, ah, ah, you meant, you meant in the same time. Okay, okay, but a Muslim, okay, but a Muslim he can have only for wives in the same time, you said. So, if Muhammad is a Muslim, why he don't have four in the same time only? If you have five, this is fornication. According to Muslim, you will be stoned. So, Muhammad should be stoned. He four wives at the same time. He have, he have 11 wives in the same time. You said that already, right? He never said at the same time. He have 11 in the same time, right? Yeah, but no, at the same time, four. He did only four at the same time. I never said No, that. no, that's not true. This is not a true. He have a li you said he have a living wives in the same time. I legit told you he had. He had, yeah. So why he had a living women in the same time, but Muslim they can have only four. At the same time, he never had eleven at the same time. Okay. Can you give me a reference, says the Prophet, he did not have a living in the same time? There's no reference. It was common knowledge. He had four at the same time. That's why having four is okay. Okay, let us see. If I find like a video of Zakir Naik or something that will work, or Asim Hakim? No, I don't like Zakir Naik or Asim Hakim. What's wrong with him? I just don't take from them. Ah, okay. Uh, so what I should do? I'll take Tafsir. Ah, you have to take Tafsir? Ah, okay. Uh, let us see. Abu uh, Bakr and Umar, radiallahu anhu. But Abu Bakr did not make tafsir, my friend. I never heard of Abu Bakr making tafsir. Abu Bakr, you have a tafsir? No, Abu Bakr, I love him. Ah, ah, okay. Uh, he, 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 Tell me tafsir Ibn Kathir. No. Ibn Kathir? Who is that? If you don't know, you don't know. Okay. I, I don't know who is Ibn Kathir. Ibn, who is Ibn Kathir? I never heard of his name. That's fine. I thought his name is Ibn Kathir. Is that what you mean? No. His name is Ibn, Ibn, Kath, Ibn Kafir? What? What his name? The scholar? Huh? Okay, just show me. Show me the reference. All right. Here we go. Uh, all 
All right, let us go and see if we can. Do you know how to read Arabic? Yes. All right, that's good. Even better, because I don't. Sometime I remember, sometime uh, I don't. Shut up, please. Huh? Just find the, just find the reference. All right, let me let me see. I, I'm, I'm going to find you. Talking a lot, just find the reference. All right. I don't want to flirt with you. Okay. Awesome. You say it in everybody, in front of everybody, that, uh, you know, for reference. sure the wives of Muhammad, some of them, they die. But I just found something very funny. You say it and you are sure that your prophet have only four wives at the same time, correct? you find a reference? No, no, I did not find anything yet, but I found like a newspaper speaking. I will post the link. A newspaper? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I definitely take newspaper. You don't believe in the newspaper? Okay, give me the newspaper? final number. Muhammad, the newspaper, New York Times. <laughs> newspaper, what? New York Times, okay, post, uh, 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 Washington Post. No? Okay, go on. Okay, go on, go on. so it says there that your prophet, he have five women he sleep with in one night. Just show me Tasfir of Ahlul Bayt or Tasfir Burhan and Tasfir Al Qumi. That's it. Oh, you, you are understand? Ah, okay. Well, here we go. This is a hadith. It says, what Tafsir? I will give you a hadith. A hadith says that your prophet, he have boom boom with nine women in one night. Okay, go to hadith. Here we go. That is Mursal. Where it says Mursal? It says Sahih. It says Sahih. Okay, it's Mursal. It says Sahih. Go, go, look at the... Um, it's, the it says side. Sahih. It says Sahih in go the front the of your Arabic eyes. This is Arabic side. There's Arabic here. Here we go. The Arabic here. It yeah. says Sahih. Okay. Uh-huh. So it says your prophet, okay. he had okay. six... He had sex with nine no. women in one night. Is that true? I read the Arabic. I read the Arabic. Okay, the Arabic here. Read it. Go ahead. Okay. Read it. Mm. Go ahead. Okay. Uh huh. I told you I got it from the newspaper he's Washington a, Post. He's a liar. So Who? That's the narration's weak. Who is a liar? You see his name right there. Where? Where? Where it says that he's a liar? Who? He's a liar. You said you speak Arabic, right? Yeah, he's a liar. That's okay, re read it for me. Read it for me. I don't know. I heard you saying something weird. What? Right, what do you want me to read? Read the Arabic thing. Let us see. You speak Arabic, huh? Let me let me read for you, potato. You don't know Arabic. أخبرنا إسماعيل بن مسعود عن يزيد وهو بن زريع قال حدثنا سعيد عن قتادة and uh, so, so this is this is as uh, this you don't know Arabic obviously, and here it says تسع نسوة he if excuse my language كان يطوف على نسائه في ليلة واحدة وله يوم إذن تسع نسوة he used to do boom boom. To all his wives in one night. You're a prophet is so horny, man. So he do boom no, boom to nine women in the same time. I cannot do nine. I can do only uh, 11. He's a liar. Okay. okay. Can you give me, can you give me a reference from your side? You're a prophet. How many women he sleep with a night? A hadith. Every night, your prophet, he have to sleep with many wives. How many women in your Islamic books, the one you accept, he sleep with? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Why are you worried about his sex life? Want him to do a marriage? No, it's not about worrying. I'm talking about if Muhammad is a Muslim, then a Muslim should practice Islam. Well, Muhammad obviously is not Muslim. Muhammad is not a Muslim. Muslim they can have only four women. So why Muhammad he have unlimited number? As you see here in this story here, he's having sex with nine women in one night. 
In one night. How much wives did Prophet Solomon have? Well, Solomon is not God who told him to have many wives. He's a king. He did as he wished. But here, no, no, but asking, but no, but here, okay. But 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 this is not from God. Did God? No, he, I'm asking a question. I'm not trying to argue with them. He a have he have ten millions. No, be realistic. I'm, yes. I am be realistic. Who cares? So he, uh, he, he was not doing the command of God. No, I care. I'm just curious. I'm know. telling you, he is not doing the command of God. Even even he did crimes. You know, like as an example, the story of David and Suleiman. They have many. They, they they did many things not 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 right. So we don't we don't say that this is God told him. So your you know your your excuse is false. The Quran says. A Muslim can have only four. That said, God told him have sex with nine wives. This is a hadith. So God told him to do that. Well, the Quran. Don't you have a Quran? <laughs> don't you have the Quran? According to the Quran, all Muslims women they are lawful for Muhammad to sleep with them. Do you want me to show you? But you take after me. This is when I take a hadith, you have to look at the narrative. The same behind it says Sahih. It says it says Sahih. So are you saying every everything that says Sahih is Sahih hadith? So why you call Sahih mean authentic? So why you call it authentic okay. if it's wrong? It has a liar in the chains. That narrative is it still Sahih? Yes, because then no, it's, it's because then it's not going to be called Sahih. If there is, you see. The second you say Sahih, that means everything about it is right. So there's no, the there's no lie in the chain. Okay, tell me where is the problem in the chain? What did they say here? Anything about the chain of narration? Nothing. It says Sahih. He's a liar. He's a liar. Okay, listen. Uh, okay, you don't have to agree with me. Did Muhammad practice Islam? Of course. Okay, you as a Muslim, you have to do circumcision, right? Did Muhammad do circumcision? No. Why? No. Why? No, he didn't. Why he did not? Uh, because he just didn't. Who? But I thought you cannot be a Muslim without no, circumcision. Why are you asking questions after questions? Look, you because we are trying to find out if Muhammad is a. You refuse to give me a reference. I give you a reference. I prove you wrong. And now I'm asking you, if Muhammad, if Muhammad is a prophet of Allah, and Allah, he uh, asked the Muslim to do circumcision, so why Muhammad did not circumcise himself? Is it, is it farad for a 50 Yes, y yes, it is, it is, it is. I have my grand, I have my grandfather, he, he used even the ads to do, like he put his thing on the table, he went to the shop, he asked his wife, he, he's 85 years old, my grandfather, he went to the shop, he put his uh, thing, it's big, it's very big. He put it in the table. <laughs> he, huh? Go on. You're nasty. No, no, this is what happened. Read with me. This is your prophet saying that Abraham, when he did it, you said to me because he's old. Well, according to your prophet, when he was 80 years old, as you see in the screen, he cut himself using the ads. So say it to me, Muhammad was old, is an excuse because Muhammad died, he's not even 60 something. So this is this is Abraham, and this is your most prophet, he's saying that. And this is Sahih. Your prophet, he said that Abraham, he have a big thing, you know, to the point here, in order to cut it, because normal Caesar will not work, you know, you have to be something. I mean, it's massive. It's like it's like a trunk of a tree. So they help him to put it on the table, and then he used the ads, he said, like, a you know, and he cut it. He cut like I. They, they shouldn't matter. Okay, look, look, it says there, it says this your prophet saying, you, you did lie to me saying that your prophet did not circumcise because simply he is he old. Circumcise, doesn't matter. I, I thought it's matter. I thought, so why is, so why, why, huh? You talking about the Quran? What do you mean? Talk about the Quran. So why you Muslims, are you saying to me circumcision is not in the Quran? No, I'm saying talk about the Quran. You're just bringing up hadith right now. That's all I'm seeing. I'm showing the Well, I, I, okay, I'm asking you. Is it a must for a Muslim to circumcise himself if he's a Muslim? Or yes or no? Yep, it is. Okay, so why Muhammad did not? So, uh, is it fara to circumcise after you reverted? 
It, you just say it. So why Muhammad is a revert? Are you saying to me that Muhammad he was not a Muslim? I never said that. I'm asking you a question. I'm not. I never said that. I never came up. Anyone he convert to Islam, he should cut his penis. He didn't get. He didn't get. He didn't get revelation to get circumcised. My friend, in Islam, if you convert to Islam, they cut your penis. If you leave Islam, they cut your head. We know that. No, no. Show hadith. Okay. So what? 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 Says show hadith if you convert. Well, isn't it your prophet? He says the one who leave his religion, kill him. He had to show hadith correction the old Quran. What? What? About what? Hadith about what? You said, bro. You said if you leave a religion, your head's gonna get chopped off. I'm saying show proof. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And this is for both Sunnah and Shia. Like, what's wrong with you? Okay, hold on. Okay, you are a Shia. You are a Shia. So if I show you. If I show you from the Shia books, or do you accept? Yep, I accept. All right. Let us see. Sistani said you can't do jihad, and I'm a Muslim Shia. Uh huh. Let us see. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Even your your Ali, he burned people alive. Not only he killed them. You want to see yes, proof? Okay, here we go. Uh, you you showed Sunni books the whole time. I was ready. I will show you. I will show you Shia and Sunni. Hold on, give me. First, let me show you no, from here. Show me Shia. Wallahi, I don't care about Sunni at all. Not one bit. Are you, are you saying the, the Sunni are liars? All Sunnis are lies in my eyes. Just show me Shia hadith. Oh, okay. So this is here. You see your your Ali, your God. Yeah, he Shia he, he burned people alive. Okay. Let us go and find yeah, you. Hadith, uh, uh Okay. Open for me. This is your Muslim website. Let me show it to everybody. And I will I will give you the link yourself so you can read it. It's in Arabic. Shia hadith. You you Shia you claim this is Shia Shia. All the hate is Shia. Even you, there's many way of killing them. One of it is to step like hundreds of people. They will step on him with their feet. Read it. Killing by walking on them on the feet. Let me use Google Translation. So I gave you the link. Do you have now any excuse? I'm reading everything. Uh huh. Wait, which part am I going to read? With all of it, read anything you want. This is your Samahat al Shaykh. You see it? Do you see yeah, it? I see it. Show me which part to read. This is a Shia. All, all the page in the front of you is talking about is talking about a Ridda. You know, you claim that you know Arabic. You know, yeah. By the feet, by the sword. Do you see it? Defensive jihad if the shrines are getting destroyed, then yes, and that's the narration of the Ahlul Bayt Alayhislam. Defensive jihad is fine, defending yourself is fine, but what defensive? This is about Ridda. The man Alayhislam told us to sit at, uh, at our homes and not fight until Al Qaim AJ rises. That's the order from them. What, what, are you, what are you reading? I don't have to take a hadith that goes against Ahlul Bayt Alayhislam. This is this is Hadith Ahlul Bayt. It says here the punishment for leaving Islam, a Ridda. It is. No, it isn't. The punishment for apostasy, guys. Do you see it? Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Everybody will, will, will laugh at you. It says here the punishment for apostasy. Yeah, yeah. No, this is the hadith. They show you the hadith. They show you the reference. Here we go. There's the name of the book Al Kafi, value number three, page number 152. At Tahdib, chapter 10, verse number 137. Al Faqih, variant number 152. All of those are massive, more and more important. They are. 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 Okay, so now let's go back to zero. I got you busted in many things. Now, as long as you are a Shia, is it true that you're Shia? You just keep bringing hadith, hadith. Show the Quran. 
Well, you said to me, give me the book of Shia. You said to me, give me the book of the Shia. So, so what is what is Al Kafi? Can you tell me what is Al Kafi? Al Kafi is a hadith book for Shias. Okay, so is it the most important book of the Muslim Sunni? Uh, sorry, Shia. The Quran is. Huh? You Shia don't believe in the Quran. You Shia, you say the Quran is corrupt. What? Yes, no, the Shia. You're what? Yeah, there's, there's two different sects. Ahmadis believe the Quran is corrupted, Muslims believe the Quran is preserved. Okay, the Quran is preserved. That's a good thing. All right, let's go. Let's find something else, guys. He's asking for more. Okay. Uh, I'll read the. I'm just saying, go to the Tasbir of Ahmad Bayt in the Quran. Uh, okay. Show me anything you want from there. Okay, hold on. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, I'll go on ready. All right. Don't share it. Sunny dot org said. Here we go. This is the seal you are asking me for. You shouldn't do jihad without the imam's permission. We must stay at not home. What jihad? <laughs> All right. All right, open this link here for me and read for me. Yes, in the link. All right. And now don't tell me you don't accept it. And this is the Quran there, and this is the interpretation for the verse. Okay, the hadith more. Is it Shia Yes, yes. That is not Tasfir. Tafsir. Tasfir mean tafsir. to send somebody to a different country. Do you see it? This is the verse and this is the tafsir for it. Do you want more? A warning and a threat. Huh? It's saying someone who will lead the religion will lose the world in the, the hereafter? It says that he will be killed. It says the word killed. It says had al qatil. It says the word qatil. Don't make me use the English translation and get you busted. It is English translation. Yeah, it says qatil. I thought you know Arabic. Why are you reading English? He will be. Where's the kill that? <laughs> you don't see the word kill? Al-Nawi is not Shia, so... Ah, uh, not Shia. Ah, uh, okay. Sunni, you know Al-Nawi Sunni? Uh, no, what Nawi? This is Shia website. Do you know Al-Nawi Sunni? Okay, hold on. Read with me. Let us give you something else. Uh, we don't get a lot of Shia usually because Shia as a sect you know, there's tons of them, and let us see. I'm going to remove that website by Sistani or Khomeini. All right. Which one is your leader, Khomeini or Sistani? Amir al Qureshi. Amir al Qureshi is your leader? Yeah. Man, this guy, he keep calling Aisha a whore. I like him. Yeah. If you speak to him, if you speak to him, tell him a Christian prince, he challenge you for a debate. He's gonna beat you so easily. Yeah, he's a potato. He will never dare. Open the link now. You tell me. And now don't tell me it doesn't say that. Here we go. This is an official Shia. Al Qureshi is a potato, my friend. I will smash him with one finger. Oh, Open. Tafsir al Mizan al Tabatabai. Value number 12. 
page number 238 and now don't tell me it doesn't say go down it says الرِّدَّ بالقتل قتل okay. uh -huh. so now we have clear proof that you Muslim Shia you kill Okay. So what do you do? Okay, you know what? In front of everybody, tell me what is the punishment for leaving Islam according to your sect. And give me the reference. Yeah, and give me the reference. No punishment. Give me the reference. In order, in order to say such a thing, you have to give me the reference. Can you give me the reference? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna just tell you what it is first. The in the Sharia law. In what? Death, death penalty in the Shia Islam. You just told me it's not death. So all this time we no, are arguing. Death huh? It's death penalty in Shia Islam. The death penalty is what I'm saying, but you said to me no. No, no. no. No, you said killing trampling, death penalty. All this time you are arguing with me, asking me to show you reference. I said the one who leaves Islam, you kill him. You said no, we don't believe in that. And now you are saying yes. So why are we arguing all this time? What was the point? I'm telling you, but, but when someone leaves the religion of the religion of Islam under the Sharia law. It was rarely, usually, for someone to get the death penalty. Ah, ah, okay, rarely, okay. So listen, you you said you follow Amir al Qureshi. Is it true that Amir al Qureshi, sorry, he say that Aisha is the one who killed Muhammad? Yeah. Why she killed Muhammad? I don't know. I asked Amir al Qureshi. What the heck? His name is Omir al Qurashi, not Qurashi as I know. Qurashi or Qurashi? Qurashi. Ah, let us let me check again. I did not. I I, I challenged him by the way in his uh, channel, but the potato did not even dare to answer. They told him a Christian prince. He's challenging you. He played. He played like uh, he said. He uh, know you. He know, you. you know me. All of you Muslim knows me. What are you talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me let me let me see how I can find his video. For some reason, YouTube is running. He has a number. You gotta call him. Yeah. I don't use phone. What he he live in Europe, right? He, he, he live in London. Yeah, so I'm not going to call London. Manchester. Do we do you have a Skype? I can call him with Skype. You have to look at his Telegram on his YouTube channel. Can you give me his Skype? I will call him right now. I don't have his Skype, but you can find it in his Telegram. Well, I don't. Can you find it for me? I don't. I don't follow him. Tell me. Give me his Skype right now. Okay, I'm gonna try to find his Skype. All right. And you're gonna call him right now. I can call him right now. I promise you. Okay. All right. Are you all right? His name is Amir al Qureshi, not Qureshi, sorry. Right. All right. Is that now what I have been saying in the WhatsApp? Let us see his video. Amir. Let me know when you find the. Uh, <clears throat> I 
I, I have his Discord if you want to. Oh, that's even wonderful. Uh, invite him here. Okay. I don't know if he's online, but I'm going to give you his app. Okay, that's wonderful. And tell him I will, you know, I will treat him nice. We will speak nice. We will not be rude with him. You know. Okay, I sent it to your DM, but he only speaks Arabic. Is that an issue? He speaks English. What are you talking about? I heard him speak English. Is not that good. I heard him speaking English, and he lives in London. His English is horrible, if you know that. No problem. We can debate in Arabic and in English. No problem. I will help okay, you. I sent, I sent you his ad. Oh, uh, okay. Emails. Okay. Can you post it in the chat, please? Too? No, I sent it to your DMs. How I can fight? I know, I'm not expert with this program. I just oh, I started. Post it here in the chat. Yeah. I don't want nobody. I don't want a lot of people to add them. Ah, okay, no problem. Uh, I killed Rafael Muhammad. And you agree with him, right? Uh, that he, uh, that uh, that uh, Aisha, she killed Prophet Muhammad, correct? Whatever he says, I agree with him. But don't you know that this is mean that your prophet he is not a good man? Isn't it the Quran says that bad women marry bad men and bad men marry bad women? So is your prophet is a bad man? If she if you Shia call Aisha a whore, that means you are calling Muhammad the same. Because the Quran confirmed that Allah made a destiny that wicked men marry wicked women. And wicked, wicked, well, wicked women, they marry wicked men. So if Aisha uh, uh, is a wicked, well, Muhammad is wicked. Right? Read the, the read the verse. And remember, and remember, you say that uh, you don't accept that the Quran is corrupted, but uh, uh, I can play for you. I can find a video of Amir al Qurashi okay. saying. And his wife is in hell. Who? Lut. After Lut. Yeah, but you see, this is a contradiction in the Quran. It cannot be. Yes, a contradiction. If Allah, if if Allah said, read the verse. Allah, He made a destiny. This is a destiny. Yeah, I know. Good woman for good uh, men. Okay. Uh, bad woman for bad men. I know. Okay. So how Aisha is a bad woman, and even you say she is a whore, and even you say she poisoned Muhammad and she killed Muhammad. And now, if this is true, then Muhammad is a bad man because Allah, he made a destiny that bad women only marry bad men. The hukum is applied to prophets. The hukum, the hukum is not applied to prophets. Like no, it says, uh, can you show me where it says this is not a prophet? It says, Al-Khabithat to Al-Khabithin. Doesn't matter who they are. Al-Tayyibat to Al-Tayyibin. Doesn't matter who they are. The does, does it say, does it say this is only for prophets? Does it say anywhere? This is not for a prophet. We believe the um, prophets are ma'asum, right? No, you you are Shia, I believe, yeah. Okay. Okay. So the prophet. So what? I'm not talking about him now. I'm talking about Aisha. I'm not saying I, Muhammad now. I did not say I, Muhammad did anything. You said Aisha is bad, and even you say she so is a whore. Read the Quran his way. Tell him like bring the tafsir of Ahlul Bayt. Okay, tafsir of Ahlul Bayt. Let us see. Al Khabithatu Al Khabithin. Let us go and see tafsir of the Shia. Shall we? See the correct words of the Imams. No problem. Let us, let us see the Shia tafsir. Okay, give me a second. All right. Here we go. Open this one for me. And let us see what it says. I just gave you the link. I will post it in the chat. You can use Google Translation. It's in Arabic. That's why you have to use Google Translation. Uh, 
Does it say there anywhere this is not about the Prophet? He's telling you Aisha is a good woman based off his eyes. Listen, does it say there? You said to me, you said to me, you said to me, give me the interpretation of the Shia. I just did. Does it say there for the verse? First of all, the eye he presented is Allah asking the Prophet, why does he forbid himself what Allah allowed him? Seeking the pleasure of his wife. Allah doesn't want the Prophet to seek pleasure from his wife. That's why he's saying this. He's asking the Prophet, why, why are you doing this? Okay, so you just said, you just said, in the beginning, okay, hold on, all right, my friend, you said, and everybody heard you, that the Prophet Ma'asum, can you tell the people in the chat what Ma'asum mean? Thank you, but you just said now, that when Muhammad, he said he forbid himself from this, Allah told him, why you forbid yourself from this? So he's not masoom. He just made a mistake. Either he is infallible, which means he don't do bad things, he will not make mistakes, or he does. But it's you who just quote for me, chapter of At-Tahrim, saying that the Prophet, yes, he did something fishy, missy, stupid, and Allah, he told him, why you are doing that? And by the way, this is not about the tahrim This is a chapter of a nur. Get forgiven for every mistake. Ah, but you said to me he don't do error. But you just said now he keep forgiving. So he is not masoom. Masoom mean masoom is someone he don't do wrong. Yeah, that that means his God because only God don't do wrong. Yes, only God don't do wrong. Only God. Did human he, being, he human, he he human being, a human being, he does wrong. Why, why did Nuh alayhi salam and Lut alayhi salam marry bad women who are promised Jahannam in the Quran? Uh, 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 Noah alayhi salam, he was a Shia yeah. too? He was a Shia? What? Yeah, of course he was. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. doesn't matter who is uh, Noah is for you. Noah, according to you, according to the verse here, this is destiny. Okay. Bad women marry bad men. So now Aisha is a bad woman. And let us go. Let us, you, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to play I'm, I'm going to play a video. I'm going to play a video if you don't mind of your friend. Is that okay? Who? Uh, Amir al-Qurashi. So people can okay. see him and they can hear what he said about Aisha. And then we will discuss me and you. Please don't leave. Uh, uh we will just uh, we will discuss me and you about what your friend Sheikh Amir, he said. Remember, you said you don't speak English. A'udhu <laughs> billah as-sami'a al-alimi min ash-shaytan al-la'in al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala khayri khalqihi Muhammadin wa ahli baytihi al-tayyibin al all this time he is just a prayer on Muhammad. This is what the Shia do. They worship Muhammad and his family. Continue. And now this is the prayer of the Shia. They start cursing the enemies of the family of Muhammad. This is what they do. Cursing prayer have to start first. Even today the Muslims know very little. Remember you said to me he doesn't speak good English. Thank you very much. <laughs> their prophet's history, peace be upon him and his pure family. Therefore, they believe he died a natural death, but in fact, he had been assassinated. Oh. This fact should not come as a surprise to anyone, given the fact that the Holy Quran had predicted it clearly in chapter Al Imran. As Allah the Almighty said, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلِ أَفَإِنْ مَاتَ أَوْ قُتِلًا قَلَبْتُمْ عَلَىٰ أَعْطَابِكُمْ وَمَنْ يَنْقَلِبْ عَلَىٰ عَقِبَيْهِ فَلَنْ يَضُرَّ اللَّهَ شَيْئًا وَسَيَجْزِي اللَّهُ الشَّاكِرِينَ And Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Many were the messengers that passed away before him. If then he died or is killed, will you... Are you there, my friend? He's, he left? Guys, look what he just said. If Muhammad died or killed, is there a third option? <laughs> he got kicked out? Why? Who kicked him out? 
Hij had nog een keer een keer een keer een keer een But do you see your stupidity? If Muhammad he die or get killed, if there's other option? I will tell you by the way about a prophecy I said. I'm a very, very powerful prophet. Alhamdulillah. Once a friend he called me, he says, My wife, she will have a child. But we don't know if it's going what is the gender. I said to him and I prophesy. I said she is going to, it's going to be either a boy or a girl. He was amazed. He was umba. What the heck? How you know that? And then he called me a few months after. He says, "Guess what?" I said, "What?" He said, "It was as you said." And since then, all my friends they call me when their wife she will deliver a baby. They call me. They say, "What the gender?" I say to them, "What Allah told me." is going to be either a boy or a girl and until now they are so much astonished so Muhammad now he is claiming that he's a prophet and his God told him if you get killed or die there's no other option Bro. hold on uh, we, 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 do you want to say anything Lul do you want to say anything yeah can you fix my name Skaza Odell what? Your mom's they, they made my name Lou. Can you fix it? Guys, why you change the name of somebody? Who is the admin changing the names of people? Who is the admin changing the names of people? Don't do that. What's wrong with you? Before that, they made a donkey. I will remove all the admins. Just leave, my brother. Later we will deal with them. This is the second person. They change his name. Are we here to play games? Are we a bunch of kids? What team? Who is the team? Who are those team? You see how they change our topic and you know what's wrong with people? Silly stuff. A bunch of kids. Good night.